the impostor. Buhari getting ready to go back to Niji after a job went done. Hello, viewers, welcome to my channel. Here, I will tell you the truth the way it is. We told you from the beginning that this man is not from Nigeria. We told you that this man is from Niger. Now, according to this man, he is going back to Niger Republic. No doubt he said, if they disturb him in Daura, he will leave for Niger Republic. He was only trying to deceive you. He actually meant that he is going back to his hometown stylishly. He is going back to his hometown after a job well done. That he was contracted by his kinsmen, the Flanese in Nigeria, to do for him. People like uh, Sultan of Sokoto. Because these are those who they call kabars for those of you who are not aware of this. That man is not a real Muslim. We told you several years ago that that dude was dead and buried in shallow grave in Saudi Arabia. Some of you did not listen. Our respectable, honorable leader Mazi. told you that that dude was dead and buried in shadow grave in Saudi Arabia and another dude was sent to Nigerians by British government planned with his kinsmen in the northern part of the country. Today, you can agree with us with what he had just said that he will be moving back to Niger Republic if he is disturbing Daura. He was actually putting your notice at the same time trying to continue to deceive you that he is from Nigeria. But he will go back to Niger Republic to relax if he is disturbed in Daura. But in actual sense, this man is a complete Niger man, a native of Niger. He's not any Buhari. That dude was died a long time ago and buried in shadow grave in Saudi Arabia. But British covered the secret. Just to make sure that they continue to suck your oil. The dude has finished his job. A job well done. He murdered innocent Benue State youth with the help of his kinsmen who are parading themselves with AK-47. Number four, the literalists. He is very happy that people like Harewa youth who are part and parcel of the killings in Nigeria whom of course they are so called chairman or president whatever he call himself of Harewa youth he is a complete terrorist he was the same person who ordered for the boats to leave not and he was not arrested because he is working hand to hand with that impostor sent by British government in collaboration with Stron Sokuto. I have told Bia France that for us to get what we want, we have to pick up arms because it's quite obvious that the United Nations has become women they no longer function well they don't function well anymore 
to make sure that those who deserve to be free is free. To make sure that people's right is obeyed. To make sure that people's right is respected. The person you have here who has been in this country ruling you for long is an imposter. And he will come to the end of his tenor soon. And this is why he is putting you in advance. Enlightening you in advance that he will be leaving to Niger. Back to his ancestral land. Just like they sent him here, the same way they sent uh, Patami, who happens to come from Niger, who was the commissioner in Niger before. Today, your uh, communication minister. What he does is to steal your phone numbers and give it to criminals to attract you. We must put the things the way it is. Otherwise, we are going to get into big wahala. This contraction will be ended. This contraction is ended. And uh, everybody has to leave to attend to all Israel. Namde Kano exploded so many years ago while he was in brokers. He tells the world what they need to know, but the world kept quiet because the British government is involved. That's a man that they sent. The man that they are removing. He is just right there in Asorok. Why people like of Sokoto continue to commit atrocities? They continue to plan with her while you to murder innocent people of this contraction. This is the fact. They are the cabals you hear about. The cabals you hear about, they are the ones. We must not allow those who has continued to kill us to continue to achieve their ends. Like I said, that dude was long dead and buried in shadow grave in Saudi Arabia. And people should know this and stop us in our time. Biafra must be restored, no matter what human being said, no matter what human being do, we must do everything possible to restore Biafra in this planet Earth, a project of God Almighty. Nandekano will not die, he will live to tell the story of how Biafra, how he piloted his members to restore Biafra nation. Yeah, that's right.